Hi guys and welcome to RCC Adventures. Now today we are fitting a tow bar. Now from that you probably worked out that from the last video when we were test driving the Passat that we bought it. So, well I should say Dad's bought it. And there it is. So we are fitting a tow bar to that today. And uh, yeah, so if you like these kind of things, if you could subscribe to the channel, that'd be wonderful. And uh, yeah, let's get uh, let's get on with it. So I've already come underneath and uh, done some penetrating fluid on the bits I've got to take off, and then um, we'll get to around to where I've got to put the uh, the tow bar. It's going to involve some cutting, I think, because there's bits of trim that might be in the way. But yeah, let's get to it. Right, so let's start on doing these. Start off with this panel here. That's a good sign. First one on does. Nice. I'm gonna bake today. It is a hot one again. Yeah, it's just full of crap. That's not helpful in the case. Oh, there you go. This is the one that's closest to the wheel, so it's going to end up with more crud in it than anything else. And easy, and you know, I think with this panel, there's only one more to undo, and hopefully, I should be able to see the rear chassis section that I've got to bolt to the bolt the tow bar to. I'm hoping. I think on the exhaust side, I've got to drop the exhaust down and take the heat shield off. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, eh? Okay. Mm. Lovely. Crap holder. Mm. Okay. Still not just sure where it bolts to. Oh, there. Going there. Right. I think we'll take off the rest of the bits that I need to take off so I can see this side on that side. And then we'll go get the tow bar frame and see where it's supposed to meet up. And then whether going to be an easy job or not. The amount of cobwebs under is, is just horrendous. No doubt that I've got to take this off. Probably have to take the whole bumper off. To be fair. Yeah, I am. I can see it underneath the heat shield there, so I'm going to have to undo the exhaust to get that out of the way, get the heat shield out of the way. Which mounts where? There, there. Another place is two. Okay.
show you the progress I've got so far, and I was doing it entirely wrong in the first place. But you learn from your mistakes, and now I know. So you've got to take the uh, the rear lights off, which is why I was starting to take the interior trim out. Uh, but it turns out you don't do it from that. There's, um, if I'll show you now, there's these panels here, which sit in that, no, in that way, on the side of the lights. You prise them gently apart and then pull them towards you. So someone's definitely been in the back here already and they've, they've broken them off because they're supposed to be tabs on there. So once the, the front poppers were off, it just basically fell out. Where with this one, the tabs are still there. So I was able to slide that one out. But then you undo the bolt there. I know it's bright, so you might not be able to see it properly. And there's tabs on the back of the light. So then you've got to try and ease the light out in it. The first one seemed like I uh, was a little bit too aggressive, but it came out and didn't break, so that's the main thing. Uh, I've got to try and do that side now. And uh, then we'll go from there, and I'll hopefully be able to get to the uh, to the bumper and get it off, because I've got to get the bumper off to then do the rest. It's turning out to be a long day already, so... We'll see how it goes from now. Right, okay, so we've made some good progress. When I say we, I mean me. So, uh, yeah, that was off. Being, uh, where is it now? We're 20, 2021, this is a 2008 car, so 13 years-ish, yeah? Yeah, 13 years. So it's a 13 year old car, couple of the bolts, so especially in the wheel lodge, were a little bit um, rusty. But that's to be expected. Uh, but once I worked out how to um, get the lights off, it then became fluent then, and then it was worrying about the rusty bolts. It wasn't sort of trying to work out what the hell I'm doing. But that's what the back end looks like with no bumper and lights on. Uh, I've got to remove the, the bumper bar uh, because the uh, tow bar will go in place of the bumper bar. And then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, Dad said that we'll get the wiring for the for the plug in before the bumper goes on and then he can wire it up and then it's got a day so that's not such a rush uh, but we're getting there we are getting there it's just a matter of getting the uh, the rear bumper iron off now and then uh, yeah so i believe with the rear bumper iron there is three bolts no two bolts that side and four bolts that side so Okay, that's weird. Whatever, it's, it's, it's being held on, it's less bolts for me to worry about, so let's continue. Okay, so uh, as you saw from the time lapse there, that's uh, it's bolted in. I've now got to torque it up. Um, but yeah, the car has a tow bar, just hasn't got the tow ball, which is in there yet. And uh, I've got to cut the bottom of the bumper to make it fit. But in the instructions, it tell you what size. And yeah, so we're really getting along really nicely now. So I'm going to get the torque wrench and then uh, torque those bolts up, and then that's that bit done. Right, so uh, the main bar itself is all torqued up. 
uh, I've put on the um, the swan neck tow bar bit. Uh, but that's got to be talked up. Yeah, that's got to be done to uh, 75 newton meters. But I need to get the other torque wrench because that one doesn't go up as high. And then I need to cut the bumper. Uh, there's dimensions in the, in the book, but yeah, so that might be fun. But yeah, we're getting there. I am baking hot. I need a drink. Do with some food as well. Uh, but we are getting there. The car officially has a tow bar. It's just a matter of putting it all back together and talking everything up completely. So yeah, progress is good. All right, so I'm back after having a bit of a break and a bit of a cool down. Um, put much better for that because I was starting to really, really get hot. And it is a very hot day today. But hey ho, uh, I've done a little bit off the camera. I've uh, put the, the wiring through the bung, had to drill a hole into the boot, and then uh, the wiring is now there, ready for, for Dad to uh, tackle it when he can. Uh, I did make slight error of where it needed to go but I've refilled that with Sigaflex and the hole was just there for the uh, for the wiring which goes through the bung there which then will go on the bracket there so now we've got to try and cut the bumper and I'm going to do that by stages uh, I'm going to cut a little bit off at a time just to see how the bumper would fit once we got to the point where the bumper will fit correctly then we can uh, well then uh, the bump is on. Um, might have to flip the uh, the bracket round, otherwise it's going to be behind the bumper. Looking at it, yeah, we we'll have to do that or flip it round so it's in front of the bumper instead. Unless you want it behind, pointing down. That makes sense. I'll do that instead. That's where it shows in the diagram anyway. That the, the way I've got it. So, right. So let's get on with uh, cutting the bumper and then. Uh, See how it fits. pretty much done now i've just got to bolt it on um well i've got to put the parking sensors on uh feed the cable to the bracket to make sure that it doesn't get caught up and it's not in the wrong place and then uh bolt the bumper on put the lights on and she's done still got to talk up the uh, the swan neck part of the tow bar which is where the ball is uh, which is that bit. right there you can see look it's got a tow bar so yeah um Next bit will be is when it's on the ground and it's all done. It's getting far too hot and I want to get done. So enough filming at the moment. Just get it on with it and then we'll finish it up. Right, there we go. It is back together. Just going to take it off the ramps. Yeah, she's good. Looks snazzy with a tow bar. Can do too bad of a job. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, so there we go. All done. It's just uh, Dad's turn now to do the electrics. Yeah. Because he's the electrical person, not. Well, the parking sensors don't like it. No. Are they going a bit? I might have put them in wrong. I don't know. Well, they only clip in. I know, it's where the wire goes where. It's Whether they in. are expendable or well, whatever. Where they reach. Well, I made sure of that. Yeah, well, they're going to have to put them in somewhere. Yeah, they're going to have to put them in somewhere. Yeah, they're going to have to put them in somewhere. Yeah, they're going to have to Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to end the video there, guys. Bit of a long one, but job done. I'm happy. I don't know what he was doing there. Anyway, cheers guys. Remember to subscribe.